buy beginner VR accessories for the Oculus Quest 2. But before this video starts, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe for more videos like this, and let's get started. <laughs> Now the first accessory you're going to need for your Oculus Quest 2 is a head strap. If you're playing on your Quest for anything longer than an hour, you'll need this. The default head strap is horrible for long play sessions. It's okay for short sessions, but for long sessions, it's just horrible. Now, the, there's a lot of solutions for this. Of course, you can buy the Elite Strap that is from Oculus slash Meta, but there were a few problems with it snapping, and Meta has announced that they fixed the issue, but there were still uh, people... And not saying that they bought the new ones and they are still still snapping so your second option is anything random on amazon that looks like an elite strap but is a clone but i personally recommend this amvr strap which is a little rubber cushion that you attach to the default head strap and that way you use it i personally have used it it's really good it's really easy and it's only like 15 bucks there's also one made by kiwi design um but yeah now the only issue with this is that the, the original strap that you're going to attach it to, uh, after a while, after about a year or so, it's going to start getting dirtier and it's going to look a little ugly. But overall, it is your best choice for head straps and uh, best alternative for the default head straps. Now, the second thing you're going to need is a face pad. Now, if you bought your Oculus Quest 2 over a year ago, they used to come with a foam pad. Uh, which some people have uh, said that they get allergic reactions and stuff like that. So Oculus is now bundling a little rubber pad that comes with um, the Quest 2. But if, let's say you bought it before or you don't like the new one, you can really just buy anything off Amazon. They're usually pretty good. Just look for silicone uh, face, call, a face pad. And uh, yeah, and if you already had a, a Oculus Quest from before a year and it didn't come with it, you could go on Oculus website and do a recall for it and they will send you one. It will take a few weeks though. So I don't know, it depends on if you wanna wait or not, but yeah. Also like the original one, the foam pad is just horrible for sweat uh, and anything like that. Now the next thing, which is lens cover for the sun. Now for any VR headset, including the Quest 2, if sun, if they go through the lens, then you could burn uh, your uh, screen and you'll have little dots there or even cause a fire. Um, so what I would recommend is either keep your headset away from sun or you could buy a little uh, foam that you could put in um, and it just covers it. It's really good, really cheap, really simple and uh, it usually comes up with the face pad and for really cheap. You can buy it for like 10 bucks the face pad and the lens cover or even cheaper on Amazon or eBay. Um, so yeah. All right, now to protect your precious controllers from any kind of damage, whether it's a drop or you end up punching the wall like I've done multiple times, you'll need grip covers. I personally use these Kiwi Design grip covers that come with a knuckle strap. Um, they're really nice. They have, they're almost like the index controllers. Uh, really good, really simple to attach. And um, yeah, I, I would recommend them. Links in the description. Now, if you're using your Quest 2 for any kind of exercise or you want to use it for exercise, then I would recommend these dumbbells. Now, these dumbbells basically just dumbbells that you attach onto your controller and it just adds weight and you can change the weight amount uh depending on what you're looking for and uh it sounds pretty easy I've, I've used them and i would recommend them so the next thing is if you have a pc and you would like to link the pc and the vr headset um you can either use a air link and i've kind of made a whole video on this but you can either use air link or you can use a link cable which is usually better if you have slower wi-fi or you just want something stable and that will not like you know buffer or all that stuff especially if you're playing games like beat saber or anything like that now i personally have a kiwi design cable basically a usb c to usb a cable which you can use to enable oculus link and play games uh instead of using air link and um it's really good best experience and i've used it for a very long time and um yeah so then the last thing i'm just gonna mention is of course headphones uh if the default speakers are all right but i would recommend headphones uh you can't use bluetooth headphones as of right now on the quest 2 but really anything that's not the default speakers um if you're just using headphones you could just really buy anything off amazon or ebay or whatever as long as they don't like fall from your ear every five seconds you're really pretty good uh, but if you're looking for something really good you could find it and uh yeah you just need something wired and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video all the links will be in the description down below and thanks for kiwi design for providing me some of the accessories the dumbbells and the grip covers and i'll see you guys in the next one bye